Good morning, America. We are live from Ghana. Looks like they're having a good time there in Ghana. And welcome back to GMA. That is Miss Kente from Ghana. She won the crown at the Kente Festival in the village where the traditional cloth originated. And she's been weaving a special GMA Kente cloth for us this morning. Yeah, let's go back to Robin in Ghana's capital city of Accra. Hey again, Robin. Hey, Amy, I have Miss Kente here with me again. As you said, she's been working hard all morning on this traditional weave cloth. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for making it us. It's our, it's our GMA colors, and sure. I know the significance. You told us earlier the significance of the colors. So thank you so much. We appreciate that. And the future of fashion, we should say as well, is, is, is just as colorful as what she made for us today. The Kinti cloth. It's a symbol recognized worldwide, one that's been woven into the very fabric of Ghana. It is our pride. It is what we live on. It is, this is how we survive. You feel like your ancestors are with you. Our forefathers are behind you. First crafted for African royalty, the cloth, an essential part of the cultural DNA of the Ashanti people, its origin beginning here in the city of Kumasi. This whole wooden structure is called the loom. The bold and bright colors woven together stitch by stitch with each thread having its own special meaning. So like the red in it is the blood in which our forefathers fought for, for this nation. And the yellow in it means our land is rich of minerals. The Kenti cloth and other staples of African heritage kept alive by cutting edge thinkers like Baboa Tachi Minson, the founder and CEO of Bomb Labs. It started because I was very interested in sustainability and how the fashion design process can be faster and just less expensive, less wasteful. Baboa's passion for fashion, a mutual interest shared with Black Panther actress Denai Guerrero. Do you think that is still a problem, the aspect yeah, so, of, of not being more sustainable in the fashion industry? Yeah, it's still a problem everywhere. Baboa's goal now to reduce the waste in the fashion industry by using digital technology that she hopes will spark a change starting here in her homeland of Ghana. If more companies use this software, they reduce the number of bad products they make because you get to visualize your garments before you actually make the first physical sample. You can see any problems that will come up, any fit issues, draping issues. You get to see how the fabric moves. Her company able to shorten the production process for what can normally take up to two weeks, now done in just five days. She showed Denai how it's done. I like the metallic. Ooh, that's beautiful. One company Bomb Labs has collaborated with, luxury boutique Christy Brown, run by Aisha Ayansu. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> what was your inspiration for this beautiful boutique? So the name is my grandmother's name. And she was a seamstress all her life. She never had anything glamorous. And in 2008, I decided to launch this fashion brand that demonstrated the Africa that I knew, right? It wasn't pictures of poverty or, or strife. It was really, there was a certain African woman that was emerging. She's well-traveled, well-read. She's, you know, successful in all her fields. And she was looking for something. She was looking for pieces that still carried her culture, but fit into her modern lifestyle. And that's how the brand oh, was there. So yeah. is that why you're a big fan? That's why I'm a big fan. <laughs> I can't say anything more than that. That just says it all right there. Oh, Show us your collection. Show you around. You want to um, see? Okay. Oh, wow. It is your African auntie outfit, right? <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. Jumpsuit. Yeah. I love what you're wearing. Thank I you know. again. No, <laughs> I know. I see you with that on air. <laughs> I can right? totally see that on air. And with women like Baboa and Aisha leading the way, there is no limit to what fashion in Africa can achieve. You know when a woman feels a sense of confidence from within, yes. there's nothing she can achieve. You help right. people not just show up, but show out. Uh, and once again, I love how you're trained on the monitor, watching those pieces with such pride. 
And Bobo, I mean, what she is doing is so forward thinking. Yes, I mean, that is what is so exciting. There's such innovators here, and she's a young woman, mm -hmm. and she has come back from her education in the United States. She located a problem, and she figured out a solution, and now people are coming. She had an intern, a, a young woman from France came here to intern oh. under her and learn what she was doing to go do it herself. Oh. That type of female connection and entrepreneurship and innovation that's really what I see when I come to the continent. I, I know. Said, I, I love that. And you also do some shopping because you picked that up. I who are you wearing? Shopping. And I, who are you wearing? I'm wearing Christy Brown. <laughs> we got to go visit Aisha yesterday. Such an innovator, such an astounding artist. And, uh, you know, it gives me great joy to, uh, to be an ambassador of her work right mm -hmm. here on GMA today. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love this. That's beautiful. I'm going to pick up some pieces. Uh, Gabrielle Union, for those people who are asking, from, from Gabrielle oh, Union here. But you know what? The fashion from. Black Panther. Can we just talk about Miss Ruth? Ruth Cart winning the Oscar the first time. Yes, first black woman to ever win that award, and so beautifully so. For costume. For costumes, for costume design. And the beauty is that she was really pulling from the continent. Mm. And that's what makes the continent proud of this, this movie as well, because they saw themselves in there. And she brought so much authenticity to what she put on our characters and really allowed that us to shine, allowed mm -hmm. Africa to shine. And the beauty is that connection resulted in that award. It so. sure did. And a little bit later, I'm going to ask you about the excitement for Wakanda Forever. But we have some gifts, please. Thank you. Come on, walking in. She's just reaching out. Of That's Nicole. Could you hold this for me, Absolutely. please? Because I have some gifts for my. Are we shopping? My, yeah. You, 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 you have already done shopping. Okay. Amy, this is for you. Brought you a little something, a little, little, you know, little, little purse. Oh, it's nice. beautiful. Amy, okay. I love that. Thank you. You know, I have that. Okay. Uh, and then for you, George. This symbolizes wisdom. Oh, wisdom. thank like, you. Ooh, short Stephanopoulos. Come on. <laughs> so this is coming back to your office. I have Very to, kind. Oh, that's all the time we have, folks. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, no, Michael. What? Michael, we can't forget about Michael. <laughs> he got you. This, excuse me, signifies unity. And there's no better unifier than Michael yeah. Strahan in nice. Good Morning America. Oh, so, so I, wonder how, I was wondering how you're going to follow up wisdom, well. Robin. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Yours. Oh, it's yours. Oh, it's yours. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.